everyone welcome to the session in this session we will use definition of congruence in terms of rigid motions to show that two triangles are congruent if and only if corresponding sides and corresponding angles of these two triangles are equal now we know two triangles are said to be congruent if one can be exactly superimposed on the other by a rigid motion that is translation of points in space consisting of one or more translations reflections and rotations because rigid motions preserve the distance and angle measure Now let us discuss corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now triangles that are of same size and shape are called congruent triangles. Now each triangle has three sides and three angles if all the six corresponding parts are congruent then triangles are congruent or we can say if all the six corresponding parts are equal then triangles are congruent now let us consider two triangles that is triangle abc and triangle efg now let triangle efg is translated image of triangle abc since translation preserves distance and angle measure therefore triangle efg can be superimposed on triangle abc now we know that two triangles are said to be congruent if one can be exactly superimposed on the other by a rigid motion so here as triangle efg can be superimposed on triangle abc thus triangle abc is congruent to triangle efg now first of all we find the corresponding vertices of the two triangles now here you can see vertex b is translated to vertex f so b corresponds to f similarly vertex a is translated to vertex e so a corresponds to e also vertex c is translated to vertex g so c corresponds to g so we see that the vertices of the two triangles correspond in the same order as the letters naming the triangles thus when we say triangle abc is congruent to triangle efg and here a corresponds to e b corresponds to f and c corresponds to g now the corresponding vertices can be used to name corresponding sides and corresponding angles of the two triangles so we have angle a whose corresponding angle is angle e similarly we have angle b whose corresponding angle is angle f and we have angle c whose corresponding angle is angle g now since the shape is same because they can be superimposed on each other that is these two triangles can be superimposed on each other and angle measure is preserved so the angle measures will be equal 
So here we have angle A is equal to angle E, angle B is equal to angle F, and angle C is equal to angle G. Similarly, corresponding side of AB is side EF, corresponding side of AC is side EG and corresponding side of BC is side FG. Now since distance is preserved, so length of sides of two triangles must be same. So corresponding sides are equal. This means side AB is equal to side EF that is Line segment AB is equal to line segment EF. Similarly, line segment AC is equal to line segment EG and line segment BC is equal to line segment FG. Thus, if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding sides and angles are equal. Similarly, if the corresponding parts are equal, then the two triangles are congruent. So we see that two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are equal. Now let us discuss an example. Here we have to identify the congruent triangles. Now from this figure we have two triangles, triangle AFC and triangle DFB. Now here we see in triangle AFC and triangle DFB, angle A is equal to angle D. It is given here, angle C is equal to angle B also. Side AF of triangle AFC and side DF of triangle DFV are equal. So, line segment AF is equal to line segment DF. Here also you can see line segment CF is equal to line segment BF. And line segment AC is equal to line segment DB and angle AFC is equal to angle DFB because they are vertically opposite angles. Since the corresponding sides and angles of these two triangles are equal. So, the two triangles, that is triangle AFC and triangle DFB are congruent. And we write triangle AFC is congruent to triangle DFB. So in this session we have learned that two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding parts are equal. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.